the oldest trick in the book. And if you do that, you will make significantly more money. We are going to talk about the five best marketing strategies that you can use immediately to increase your return on ad spend. Now, it doesn't matter if we're talking about spending money on Google, whether we're talking about social media, heck, even if we're talking about billboards and radio advertising, wherever you're running ads, every single one of these will increase the amount of money that you get back from your advertising. And it doesn't matter what your practice area is. It doesn't matter what your geographical location is. It doesn't matter what your competition's doing. If you use these, you will make more money. So the first way that you can increase your return on ad spend, know your audience. I know this sounds obvious, but you need to understand who specifically am I talking to? You want to create content that is specific to that audience because when you talk to everyone, you talk to no one. Let me give you a perfect example. If you are a estate planning attorney, you can pretty much argue that anyone that kind of has any sort of assets probably needs an estate plan at the very least needs a will, right? But consider these three different avatars. The first would be a married couple in their 30s with a young child, they own a house, and they have a small business. The second is a same-sex couple, they have a dog, they're both high-income earners, they own a house together, but they're not married. The third couple is a couple in their 60s, they're empty nesters, in fact, their kids are pretty much out of college by this point. They are newly retired, and they're looking to sell their house and downsize and buy an RV and start traveling all over the country. Those are three completely different avatars. Now, let me ask you a question. Do they all have the same problems? If you try to craft a message that speaks to all three of them, you'll kind of get them a little bit, you know? But imagine you had one message that was specifically for the couple in their 30s. Imagine you had another message that was specifically for the same-sex couple in their 40s. And imagine you had a third message tailored to the couple in their 60s those messages would be received a lot better because you're talking to a specific person, right? That doesn't mean that you need to niche down your entire law firm. It just means that when you run an advertising campaign, when you run an ad, you need to understand and ask yourself the question, who am I talking to? And does this message that I'm putting out there actually match what the person that I'm talking to is interested in, right? So that's the number one thing you can do, knowing your audience and knowing who is the actual avatar that I'm talking to. Because remember, if you talk to everyone, you're actually talking to no one. So let's talk about the second one. And this dives deeper into knowing your audience. You wanna make your messaging about them, not about you. I'm actually rereading How to Win Friends and Influence People right now. And if you haven't read that book, it is a fantastic book. It's one of the best business books ever written. And it's not really about business. It's about how to influence people. Everybody cares about themselves. They don't care about you. When they ask you, what do you do? They're really asking, what can you do for me? They wanna make sure that you're competent, but after that, they don't care about you. So stop talking about yourself in your advertisements. Talk about them. Talk specifically about the problems that they have. Because the only reason that somebody hires a lawyer, for the most part, is that they have a problem a problem that they can't solve on their own and a problem that only you can solve. And when you do that, people will be drawn closer to you. One of my favorite marketing sayings is, whoever can best articulate the problem is automatically thought to have the best solution. If you can describe the problems that they're going through and you can mention the problems that are happening to them, then you automatically are thought to have the solution to their problems because you already understand what they're going through. This is in their mind, right? There's three things and only three things that you should be talking about. Talk about what they want, talk about how they get it, and then most importantly, talk about what their life will be like once they get it. And when you nail those three aspects of messaging, then your ads will convert significantly better. Recapping the five best ways to immediately increase your return on ad spend. Number one, know your audience. Number two is make it about them. Number three is use pattern interrupts. Pattern interrupts are the key to getting people's attention. This is what your audience is doing. They're just mindlessly scrolling. So what are we going to do differently that's going to shock them, that's going to make them jump and stop and say, oh, I gotta watch this, right? The pattern interrupt is something that first of all, gets their attention immediately. Lawyers are a commodity. 
50 other law firms in the area, do the exact same thing that you do, look exactly the same, and nobody can tell you apart. Most lawyers will start their videos with, my name is attorney Bill Smith, and I've been practicing family law for the last 27 years. Before you finish the word Bill, they move to the next ad. What I like doing, we had a video one time, it was, 13 ways children benefit from divorce. Something like that that's gonna, first of all, as we said, know your audience. Second of all, make it about them. Both of those check those boxes. And then the third thing is gotta be something that's actually gonna break the pattern. There's a course that I recently took from a very successful Facebook influencer. The secret was we need to get 200 people to watch six seconds or more of this video. So the question that you have to ask yourself, how do I get people to watch the first six seconds of my video? What can I do that's going to get them very, very interested? Now, you don't have to come up with this. Go on TikTok, go on Facebook, watch videos, watch reels, and pay attention to what some people do in the first six seconds. And you can look and you can see how many likes it has. You can see how many views it has. You can see all that type of stuff. Success leaves clues. The thing is you can make the best ad, you could have the best landing page, you could have the best service, but if you don't get their attention right away, they're never gonna see you. So you've got to interrupt the pattern. So number one, know your audience. Number two, make it about them. Number three, pattern interrupt. Now, number four, make sure that the message in your ad matches the message on your landing page. Think about Black Friday. I get email after email after email after email and I get ad after ad after ad on Facebook and Instagram and all these different places, right? And there's so many times when I click on an ad and it's like buy one, get one free or 75% off or some sort of deal. And then I click on the link and I can't find any reference to the thing that got me to click in the first place. And what do I do? I bounce, I leave. And that's what is happening when there's a message mismatch. Let's say you're a personal injury attorney and you run an ad for motorcycle accidents. The person clicks on the ad and they land on a page that's just general personal injury. Do you think that's good? Or when they click on your motorcycle accident ad, they land on a landing page that's all about motorcycle accidents. The second one, the latter, the dedicated motorcycle page wins every single time, right? Adobe actually found this out. He said the only thing that makes a meaningful impact on their conversion rates is when the message in the ad matches the message on the landing page. It doesn't matter if they use a different picture, you know, should it be a green button or a blue button or an orange button, like it doesn't matter. The thing that matters is the messaging. And if the messaging on the ad matches the messaging on the landing page, conversions go through the roof. So to recap where we are, number one is know your audience. Number two is make it about them. Number three is focus on the pattern interrupt. Number four is make sure that the message in the ad matches the message on the landing page. And number five, my personal favorite, the fortune is in the follow-up. There's a statistic that most people know about sales. Well, if you're in sales, you know this. And that is that most sales come from the fifth to 12th touch. Meaning you need to make contact with somebody, a prospect five to 12 times before they will actually make a purchase from you. This is good news for you because most of your competitors don't do any follow-up whatsoever. The industry average of the legal industry is a 7% conversion rate, 6.98% to be exact. If 100 people click on your ad, only seven of them are gonna contact your firm. That also means that 93 didn't contact you. Through follow-up, you get another seven to contact you. Well, you just doubled your ROI right there simply because you just got twice as many contacts for the same ad spend, right? So how do we do follow-up? Let's say they click on your ad, they land on your landing page and they don't contact you. Well, you should immediately start showing them more ads. You should immediately start showing them value videos on social media that offers solutions to problems that they have because the easiest way to prove you can help people is by actually helping them. It's the oldest trick in the book. And also branding ads should start using Google Display Network, which is not very expensive. But the worst thing that you can do is message somebody and say, hey, just following up. I call that the F word. You're, you're shouting the F word at them. You don't want to do that, right? Instead, what you want to do is you want to follow up with more value. And you do that using a concept called by the way marketing. And this is something that I've been teaching my clients about for years. So here's how it works. And I'll tell you about a client. His name's Lance Fryer. He's a, a criminal defense attorney in Seattle. A prospect came in, did a consultation for a DUI, left the office without hiring, said, I have to think about it, right? So a day later, Lance opens the phone, texts him and says, hey, Steve, it's attorney Lance. 
Wanted to thank you for coming in, sharing your story with me. Hope you got a lot of value out of our conversation. By the way, I was thinking about your case and because your case is in front of judge whoever, the best defense in my opinion is probably X, Y, Z. If you have any questions, let me know. Talk to you soon. That person picked up the phone and hired him right there. And we see this over and over and over and over again. You're following up, you're staying in contact, you're providing more value. You always want to provide more value, right? Prove you can help them by actually helping them. It's the oldest trick in the book. And if you do that, if you install follow-up across every single thing that you do, you will make significantly more money. So to recap, the five best marketing strategies that you can use immediately to increase your return on ad spend. Number one is know your audience. Number two is make it about them. Number three is use pattern interrupts like crazy. Number four, Make sure that your message on the landing page matches the message on the ad. And then finally, follow up like your life depends on it. Let me know which of these you plan to implement in your business and let me know which ones you already do implement in your law firm in the comments below. Thanks a lot, guys, and I will talk to you soon.